on Blues Radio International. It's Jesse and Audrey, and we're here at the 2022 Blues Music Awards with our friend Selwyn Birchwood. Yes, indeed. What's going on? <laughs> Glad to be here, man. We just rolled in, but uh, excited to be here. I'm excited, I'm excited that we could do this face to face to face to face again. And uh, man, missed this stuff, man. <laughs> Showing your whole face. Yeah, yeah, most of the time. <laughs> Very exciting. So what have you been up to? Uh, we're just coming off about a week and a half uh, traveling and playing. Uh, we were home for about three days after our last tour. We did 11 shows in 12 days. We're home for three days and did another five shows and then uh, had a day off and came here. But, uh, you know, I'm so excited to be tired again. I can't tell you. <laughs> My back hurts. I'm, I'm tired. I'm sick of driving. It's awesome. Your fingers hurt yet? <laughs> yeah, man. All of that. <laughs> all I, of that. Don't know what you got till you can't do it, man. This, this is amazing. Well, talking about your fingers, what are you going to play first? Uh, well, I brought my acoustic with me. I figured we'd take it back and do some old style stuff, man. Let's do it. That's okay. just getting into uh, getting new songs into the show and new songs in front of crowds. Uh, I spent the entire 2020 trying to force myself not to have any time wasted. I wanted to be hitting the ground running when this thing opened back up. And uh, my album that I have out now, uh, Living in a Burning House, actually debuted at number one on the Billboard Blues chart in January 2021. Um, but my plan was to have another album written before this one even came out. And I almost got there and I'm all the way there now. So we head back in the studio uh, this winter time and uh, we'll have a new uh, album out on Alligator, Alligator Records out next year. So uh, we're really excited about that, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, man, while I got the acoustic, I'd, I'd keep it pretty close to the hip, man, play some stuff that I normally don't get to play. Awesome. Thank you. Once I get it in tune, I got to change it for this one, man. We were just saying earlier, we have people that tune in just to hear people tune up, so thanks for time. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going to disappoint you then. Thank you. <laughs> Easy to please, I like that. You know us. <laughs> here. Yeah, man. All right, well, it's in tune. Let's see if it's stay tuned. of your music and the development of a very unique sound of your band. What's it like to go back and revisit some things like Robert Johnson and, and some of the basics again in light of how far you've progressed in your own sound? Uh, man, it's, it's like being able to tap into the main line. You know, it's, it's always awesome. And uh, that was one of the only things during 2020 that really kept me going. I had something that I didn't have for the longest time, which was time, you know. I, I had nothing but time to li go back and listen to the old songs and old records that, uh, that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, I got to a place sometimes where I wasn't able to play the kind of blues that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, I was able to just do only that for a while and it kind of spoiled me because by the time I get back out to playing shows, I had about zero interest of playing stuff just to 
see that it's what everyone else was playing or that it, I think it'll get over. I'm just going to play whatever I like to hear, what I like to play. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that so far people have been digging on it, man. <laughs> yeah, well, they do, and they do so continuously. But how does Robert Johnson, some of the more elemental things, or you play Can't Be Satisfied before, what is it about that that informs your music today? How does that fit? Uh, man, it, it's uh, it's the source, and and uh, I, I always, no matter how many times I listen to these records that I that I really enjoy that are so foundational for me, I'll listen to them, and then I won't listen to them for two years or a year, some of them, and then I go back, and it's like a brand new record. Your ears always change, uh, and with those guys, there were so many subtleties and nuances to the way that they played that every time I go back and hear it, it's like I hear something else or I feel something else that they were doing differently. So it's one of those things that even though it's already they already did it, it's still evolving every time I hear it, man. It's, it's pretty cool, and I don't get that off of uh, you know other types of music a lot. <laughs> Can you play one of those ones that really struck you during this period that we were all alone and isolated? Yeah, man, you know, that stuff will, uh, when you're in that kind of isolation, and you know, especially when I'm, I'm used to being around people and being around crowds and being able to do what my favorite thing is, which is play this guitar, you know, it'll get you kind of down, man. And, and luckily it goes one and the same with this kind of music because I pick up my guitar and play stuff like this and it'll make me feel better to stay, you know. Gun. Give me a pocket, give me a pocket full of shit. Go on, bring me my shotgun. Go on, give me a pocket, give me a pocket full of shit. I'ma shoot that one Lord, I'm sending straight to Go mm. on, bring me my shotgun Just gotta get to shooting again Go on, bring me my shotgun Just gotta get to shooting again. I'ma shoot my baby. She's messing around with too many men. I win. 
my girlfriend's house. Then I sat down on her front step. She said, Come in. And I said, When? Lord, my husband just not left. Lord, my husband just not left long. Oh, well. making me feel good and I'll stop doing it. <laughs> when, you're playing the, when you're sitting there and you're playing the notes and the, you know, the sounds are coming out of the guitar, is there anything else going through your head when you're playing? Do you actually have thoughts other than like what you're doing? Or uh, is it just the music in that moment? It's best if I don't. <laughs> Otherwise, stuff goes wrong, man. But yeah, if I, you know, that's kind of like a escape you know if i do it right then i'm able to get away from all the other stuff and uh you know just tap into that and and it makes you feel better man <laughs> so no distractions from your own mind when you're playing the music no nope, not if i'm lucky <laughs> <laughs> well we're yeah. enjoying this escape can you play one more for us yeah man i'll, I'll play uh, uh bear with us she's old you got us all nuts. I play, uh, it, this feels like my living room. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm back home, man. I do some uh, finger style stuff, man. This type of stuff always makes me feel good. And I normally don't get to play this at my shows, man. Maybe I should start.
came a long way, and we appreciate you coming to play, but I have one more thing to ask you for. What's that? Can we get a musical station identification using your name in Blues Radio International? Yeah. Uh, so just say BRI or Blues Radio International. Whichever you prefer. Like you're listening to or something like hey, that? or Selwyn Birchwood, and you're listening to Blues Radio International, okay. and play some music with it. <laughs> Can, if you like. Hey, this is Selwyn Birchwood, and you're listening to Blues Radio International. journey for us to be in the same room together yes. yeah man. be able to do that safely we're blessed to do that with you thank you very much yeah thanks for having me man thank you.